Greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk with Lisa. How are you? It's so good to be with you, isn't it? Well, I hope this episode, it is November 22nd, few days before Thanksgiving. Well, are you ready? Are you ready for this incredible time of gratefulness and thankfulness? So while we're gathering all the people who are going to start viewing us, and thank you for being with me, let us uh, do one thing. Sit back and enjoy this time together. Because today I'm going to be talking about gratefulness and uh, how we give thanks. Of course, with family, there's always, you know, commotions, emotions running high, uh, who's shopping, who's coming. And often when uh, we are not in a good place, and no matter what happens in life, either the holiday blues or feeling depressed. You know, there's trigger points uh, that emotions and the past personalities come together and push those buttons. And at the end, I'm going to give you another technique that I have used with some of my clients and that helps them release and overcome anxiety um, expectations and calm themselves. So I'm going to also share with you that technique, which I call the elevator technique. If you know anything about staples, do you remember staples used to have a button called easy? There are so many companies that bought that button and they started pushing that button easy. We need to create a button called calm. <laughs> Hi Becky, how are you? Thanks for joining. What are you grateful? Actually, I am grateful to you, my lady. Um, I follow you and I sometimes see your pictures between you and your lovely, beautiful daughter. And of course, Gar, you are the epiphany of a lovebird couple. So, if you don't know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. I am a clinical hypnotherapist. Someone was asking me, why don't you introduce yourself every time you start? Not that everybody knows me. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting acquainted with this live video thing. And it's different than speaking on stage when I do or my clients who come to me one-on-one. -on -one. Being in front of a group and being on FaceTime with you, it's a little bit different. So with that, I want to say I'm learning. And what is the best thing to do in life to say, I don't know everything. So, and I am taking one day at a time to become better and better. And the same thing as I tell all my clients is when we want to make a difference, when we want to make a change, we do it every day in every way, feeling better than yesterday, but not as good as tomorrow, right? Okay. Now, being grateful. Hi, Andre. Hi, Melina. Uh, Mimi John, so nice to have you with me. Jot down, share and share this post because I'm going to be talking about gratefulness, being grateful 
you know, now that Mimi is here, I want to say I am grateful for so many things in my life. And one of them is being a part of a book club and that we get together once a month. It's a group of women that speak, speak about not only the group, the book we were talking about, but we got to know each other and everyone loves coming together at the beginning of the month because it's not only the book but after 11 years of 12 years of being together about 17 of us we have established a bond you know just yesterday i posted something on my facebook and if you go and look at my facebook it is something about the gratefulness of uh, Nora meeting this grandpa. Um, and I'm looking over here, it's not here, but I will repost it. The reason for that is this little kid met this old man and in a supermarket and without anything, she just bonded. And he had lost his wife six months before. And that bond became a purpose for him. And every week, her mom takes her to his house and he's become this grandpa. We all have, hi Mary John, we all have someone that we bond with, um, we connect with. And gratefulness is truly about that is saying thank you for being a part of my life. Uh, thank you for what you do for me and how, because it's not what they do, it's how we feel about what they do, right? Everything in life is that. Even when we have someone give us a gift, it's not so much the gift itself, well, for some people it might be, but it is the gesture, it is the thoughtfulness. I remember now that Mary is here about a year ago, in order for her to say thank you, Mary John, you dropped something very small for me. And when I came back to the office, it was here. So you see, in life, it is not the things we do, but what it means for the person. What are you grateful for? Um, the people who are in your life. When we think about them, some say, you know, there is a saying in Armenian, which I am Armenian in case you didn't know. Um, we say when we miss the person who is not with us, that's when we come to miss them. But wouldn't it be great that we pay attention and do something as a gesture for the person that is with you? You know, sometimes we're so grateful to our pets and because they are the most important thing, they love us conditionally, right? Which we know for a fact. In human beings, there's so much conditions we place upon one another. Hello, Thelma. This Thanksgiving, any holiday, I get busy because of the holiday blues, anxieties, stress that happens. We cannot change our family members but we can make a change within ourselves of how we deal with family, even the ones that we're not so keen to sit with. But let us not forget, we might miss them when they're not around. Uh, the quirks that some of us have, we have it, our parents have it, I know my mom has it, and we push those buttons in a moment. I'm also going to talk to you about what the buttons are and how we can push those buttons and make them go dormant or put them out of order. 
one of the viewers from last time, she sent me an email saying, uh, and you know who you are, saying that I'm still using that finger, calming myself. Hello, Jana. Well, you can use the finger to calm yourself. Know that when you drink water, life is about what you refill yourself with. And then sometimes we have rituals. Some pick up a, a card and they say, I want to draw a card. Some go for a walk. You might even take one of my CDs and listen to a CD. Relax and calm. Yes, you can find that at the website. But how we deal with stressors, how we deal with hard times, is we deal with ourselves. The same way a success happens with us, the same way as we build confidence that happens with us, Hello, Dawn. Relaxation and everything starts with us. So we choose how we cope. So today, not only you can use that finger, I want you to imagine within yourself, just imagine that you are standing in an elevator. Walk into an elevator and let the doors to this elevator open. Go ahead. Can you imagine that? Okay, as you imagine yourself, hello Vartan, thank you for joining. I am talking about how you can allow certain things, triggers that push our buttons, that trigger us into anxiety, that triggers into reaction, how we can make those changes. So if we imagine ourselves in an elevator and the doors close and the elevator is not going anywhere right now, go ahead and just come up with how many numbers do you believe it's in an elevator that you are in? Because everyone has got their own perception of how many buttons do they believe there is the buttons that you see over there that are numbered, if you can just imagine how many buttons there are and each one of those buttons are your trigger points. It could be a person, it could be a habit, it could be a behavior. It could be someone that from the past, when you think about them, just agitates you. Their name, their voice. I know for a fact, for longest time, there was this coach, huge coach, that his voice just irritated me and I would not listen to any of his CDs until I got to see that person in, in real time and his energy and everything, and boy, now my perception of that person has changed, and I YouTube him, and yes, it is Tony Robbins. I YouTube him and I listen to him. So it could be a sound, it could be a smell. Sometimes a smell triggers, and it sends us to a place that we just cannot stand it. Of course, there are scents, of perfume that remind us of this incredible person that we liked or hugged. But today is about the triggers that are not good for us, that send us into that anxiousness and negativity and steers something that is not comfortable in our gut. And knowing that so much of our emotions are from our gut, right? Now, instead of those numbers, place, the name, the behavior, the scent, the smell, whatever it is, 
of that person or their behavior. Have you replaced it? Go ahead. Take a moment. Replace all the buttons that lit up. And when you have it all done, it could be all the names, no matter how many triggers, knowing that from 1 to 7 or 1 to 18, you may have a penthouse full of all those triggers. And in a moment, I want you to sit back no matter where you are and close your eyes for just a moment. Now that you have set all the buttons, sit back. Take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, release and let go of all negativity. Release and let go of all negativity. Become one with the sounds that surround you. Yes, you can de-stress and become one with the sound of my voice and let everything else be gone. Nothing matters at this very moment except yourself, your body, and become aware of every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue of yours, and say thank you to every part of your body. From the top of your head, which is your hair, all the way down to your toes. And you can even wiggle your toes and see how wonderful it is to become aware of every part of you. Now, as you are relaxing and becoming grateful, in your own mind's eye, push all the buttons that light up and put you into that anxiety, stressors, they trigger you either by personality, by their voice, and some people say by their existence. In your own mind's eye, push those buttons out of order. That's right. It's only in your mind. It's not reality. But know that once those buttons are out of order, you know what happens? That elevator will never ever go to those levels, to those places. And those triggers that used to trigger you are out of order. Hello, Claudia. So, that is the magic of imagination. That is the power within yourself. That is the incantation or the affirmation. It is the choice that you just made this very moment. That no matter where you are in life, as you become grateful to your own being, your sound mind, your open heart, your loving self, and remember that at this very moment, Hola, Claudia. Nothing matters except you. So go ahead. You can even push this button and share this if you believe that this session of Heal Talk with Lisa was beneficial to you and it can be beneficial to someone else and remember that when we do things consciously every aspect every action and every reaction everything we do and everything we say all our senses get stored in our subconscious mind so as we store all that information in our subconscious mind from the time that we were a little child until this very moment, the new friends that we create, thank you for the hands, 
and the ones that we have already established from the moment we open our eyes and we are cradled in our mother's bosoms. That scent, the sounds, the touch, even the taste of the milk, and everything that in life is stored in there, the good, the bad. You can make that change. You can change your habits. And today, you can overcome the triggers, either by people or habits, or the triggers. I was just about to do this. <laughs> you have the choice to put them out of order and the next time when you want to ride on that elevator, guess what? You go to the levels that are happy, that are joyful, that are good, and you can turn another buttons into green, and in your mind's eye, that's where the elevator will go. You will go to the levels that enhances and benefits you, the levels that supports you, people who are like-minded, heart-minded, and know that you also can make a difference in their life. Maybe you can share this technique with them. Maybe you can push this and share with your friends. And remember that in life, no one has control over you. No one exudes control over you either and if they do and if it's not a good control push that button out of order well thank you for joining me hi Amy hello I want to thank all of you for being here and if it's been beneficial um, go ahead drop me a line say yes and I look forward to being with you next week. It would not be just for me if I don't promote my website and let you know that on December 5, very good friend of mine and I, Tannis Rines and myself, we're putting together a girls' night out. It's called Scent and Sensibility. And it's going to happen right here. You can go to my website. And in a few minutes, I'm putting that post up. It will be on my Facebook. I also created an event for it. So girls, let's come together and have a good time. Awaken all our senses before the holidays. Because when we feel good about ourselves and we look good, guess what's going to happen? Our partners are going to be happy. We don't do things for others. We do it for ourselves. And when we feel good, we go share life with an open heart and a loving spirit. Oh, Becky, you're in the penthouse. Yay! <laughs> You know, here's the thing about the penthouse. As a hypnotherapist that, by the way, that I also work with domestic abusive clients because I am a consultant, I learned one of the things as a hypnotherapist, never do the guided visualization in two or three places. And throughout the years, when I ask my clients, just like I said, this elevator has not gone anywhere, you are safe, and you just created the buttons, I do not take my clients, I choose not to take my clients to the water in case, like an ocean. But I always say, if you know what the sound of an ocean is, you can imagine it because I I love the sound of the ocean. And also, 
I choose not to take my clients to places that are very high. The penthouse is beautiful because we can sit in the penthouse, even stand at the penthouse, look at the most glorious, beautiful panoramic view, and yet not go too close to the glass or the view and the windows. So it is a choice of how a professional hypnotherapist directs a client knowing what they want to hear, what they feel, and how they respond to things. But as a DV consultant, I also learned one thing. When I want to have someone become comfortable and go to that place of safety, I do not ask them to enter into their bedroom or sit on their bed. And that, you will understand why. So to close this session, I thank you for being with me and sharing this moment. Because without you, I would not be here. May you have an incredible day of celebration of giving thanks. No matter how you put your hands together, either this way, this way, and when you make that pledge, pledge allegiance to accept, to accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than ever before. Either it is the highest power, blessings of the universe, or God. May you be with light. And I'll see you next week. You do matter. So evoke what was, embrace what is, and evolve to what will be. Until next week, I bid you goodbye.